Hey everybody, it's Kelly with Inky Hands Warm Hearts. How are you guys? So happy to be with you. Hey Sherry. Hey mom. Woohoo, here we go. Hey John, thanks for joining us. I am so crooked, it looks like. I don't know why I'm so crooked. <laughs> I swear I struggle like I never struggled like this when I was on Facebook like however my camera was was how the look was and I feel like on YouTube like I have I'm never straight like I always feel like my mat's always crooked or I'm doing something crazy. Haley thanks for joining us. Glad you made it Roxanne. All right, guys, I'm going to do a few announcements and then we will get started. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is my Inky Hands crew membership because it is my favorite thing. I love my crew. They're pretty awesome. And I enjoy coming up with projects for you guys. Um, I have so much fun with that. And I hope that you guys are enjoying the projects as well. If you're not enjoying the projects, I want you to tell me why, because this is a collaborative. In other words, if there's something that you think is missing, I'm happy to add it. But if I, if you don't tell me, I won't know. Right. So definitely tell me if you feel like things could be better. Um, what could be better? And I'm happy to adjust and make the um, adjustments for you guys. So I hope that you are enjoying it so far. Um, everybody that I know of, I've not gotten any negative feedback. I've gotten a request for, um, a particular kind of fun fold, which I have on my agenda when I find the right, um, bundle or stamp set to make it work. I'm definitely going to go there. Um, I love challenges and learning new things. And I'm more than happy to um, make those adjustments for you guys because you guys are my supporters, right? You guys are the ones that are helping support my channel and my dreams and my business. And so I really appreciate it. Um, I spoke with another demonstrator today and we are going to be collaborating um, on a class. I'm not sure if it's going to be out for March, or if it's going to end up having to be April, we're going to see what happens. Um, we had our first talks today. So if we can throw something together quick enough for a March class, then there'll be a March class. Um, if not, it'll be the next month. But I'm really excited um, to have somebody to collaborate with and to bring you guys more classes. All right, so the Inky Hands crew is a group that you pay $7.95 a month. You get um, two video tutorials every single month in your inbox, and you get um, a col color sketch and a card sketch in the Facebook group. Um, you can introduce yourself in there, and you can have friends in there. I don't post a lot in there because I just feel like we're in so many groups and we don't necessarily need a whole bunch of information. You guys know where my stuff is on YouTube. And of course, any questions that you have, you're more than welcome to toss them in there and I'm happy to answer them. Um, I just didn't want it to be an overwhelming thing. Um, your emails are where your main bulk of your content is. And um, really for the price, I think, it's a pretty decent price point. I've been told by many people that I should be charging more. <laughs> so for now, we're going to keep it where it's at. Hey, Cheryl, thanks for joining us. And um, yeah, so I'm excited about it. So if you would like to join my Inky Hands crew memberships, what you want to do is you want to go to my website, which is inkyhandswarmhearts.com. And when you go there, you're going to click on the menu and find memberships. OK, and where the memberships are, you're going to be able to read all about it. And then at the very bottom, you can click the button to join. And I would love to have you um, as part of my membership group. All right, so that's it about that. Let's talk about celebration. We still have 
gosh, this week is the first week. So we still have three and a half more weeks to celebrate, right? We love celebration because we get free stuff. And if you haven't seen that there are new products added to what's in the celebration brochure. So now you have the brochure and then this PDF to pick from. When you go to my online store and make a purchase, these will automatically pop up as options for you. So there won't be anything that you have to do. Hey, Kimberly, thanks for joining us. Happy to have you here. Everybody say hi to Kimberly. Um, and so I lost my train of thought. So yeah, so you won't have to do anything to have these items pop up. They're just gonna be there for you. And there's some really cute stuff in here, guys. The, um, this pack of paper is a pack of 48 sheets. Um, it's fantastic, a $30 value, and you get it free with a $50 purchase. Like you can't beat that, right? Um, there's some really good stuff on the add-ons, not to mention this week I have been using the um, Bright Skies. And that's on page 51 of the mini catalog. And they paired in the celebration brochure, a pack of DSP that goes with this little bundle. So um, if you haven't seen this, it's super cute. Um, I think it's kind of a sleeper. You don't really notice it. You just think, ah, I don't really like those colors, but there's some cool stuff in there. So I have been showcasing it this week, and today's card uses DSP. Yesterday's card used a bunch of the DSP from the same piece as well. So I think it's a really fun um, DSP. And there's more DSP to be chosen in that mini catalog as well, a uh, mini brochure for the um, celebration, but they've added more as well to the more to celebrate. So check that stuff out. Um, this weekend, starting Friday night, is our celebrate, I mean, is our stamp camp celebrate. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm dropping everything. Um, it's called Creativity Abounds. And it's our notes of nature. It's going to start at 6 p.m. on Friday night. Um, all of us will be, all of the design team will be in the group. And we will be doing a live broadcast at 6 p.m. So if you purchase the stamp camp from me, you should have gotten your make and takes in the mail, except for the people that are local. I have those and um, you will get them before the stamp camp. Um, the other thing is don't miss the welcome because I've never done it before. So it's like, it's probably going to be exciting. I'm excited. Yay. Awesome. So I have an extra stamp camp that I cut just in case somebody had FOMO and didn't want to miss out on Stamp Camp. So if you are, hey Kay, how are you? Um, if you are interested in Stamp Camp and you feel like you missed out, you can still go, I can still invite you to the Facebook group that the Stamp Camp is in. And you just have to pay for the Stamp Camp prior to 6 p.m. on Friday. And I can send you the make and takes. It doesn't matter if you have the make and takes before the stamp camp or after because the projects that we're showing in the stamp camp are not the ones that are in the make and takes. So let me know if you um, would like to still get in on stamp camp. You have another opportunity. I cut an extra. Okay, so, um, paper pumpkin. Saturday is the last day to sign up for the February Paper Pumpkin. And look how cute the box is. Hi, Kay. Are you new here? Can somebody, um, John, can you find out what Kay is talking about for me? 
so I can get through these announcements. I'd appreciate it. Okay, so um, the Paper Pumpkin Sweet Springtime is the February Paper Pumpkin. Um, the sign-up was from January 11th through February 10th, and it will be sent out on the... Um, it'll be sent out... Oh, are you saying what time is the stamp camp at 6 o'clock? You have to be a subscriber. It's Eastern Standard Time, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, and you have to have purchased the, um, the stamp camp in order to get into the group. If you are interested, you just have to let me know and I will work with you to get your stamp camp registration. Okay, um, but yeah, so the Paper Pumpkin is through February 10th, which is Saturday, and then you will get this mailed out on the 11th. It is so cute. I cannot wait. I literally cannot wait to get this box because y'all know that my daughter has a bunny, and he is my little grand bunny, and he lives here, and he is fantastic. Yeah, okay, it's Eastern Standard, but the stamp camp is international, so it's going to be going on all day and all night. You're not going to be able to watch all of them live, but there's going to be 13 live presentations, and the first one is at 6 p.m. for the welcome, and then the first official live starts at 7 o'clock. All right, that's it for Paper Pumpkin. Let's talk about online exclusives. Oh my gosh, there's some new online exclusives coming and those of you who are demonstrators have already gotten a chance to pre-order. Hopefully you have <laughs> because it's pretty awesome. Um, there's, some, there's like 30 products. It's crazy how many new things are coming. And they will be available on the 5th of March in my online store. We have products right now in my online store that are only available online. They're not located in any catalog. So you can check those out as well. If you go to my online store, you want to click on, um, I think it's happening now, and then online exclusives. So don't forget about the online exclusives and the new ones coming. And then the kits collection. In February, we got two new kits. The birthday sparkle kit, which mine is on my way. I'm hoping that I'll have it by Thursday's live. But if I don't, it'll be next Tuesday that I can show it to you guys. Okay, if you would like to participate in the stamp camp... Um, you can email me at Kelly, K-E-L-L-I, at inkyhandswarmheartsplural.com. Hands is plural, hearts is plural. All right, so we have the birthday sparkle, and we have this cute happy house plants kit. It comes with four six by six frames, and you get to put together these cute little house plants four different ones and you can frame them and like, you know, put, put them up on like, you know how they have those little like holders for frames and stuff that you can put things on? Sure, no problem, Kay. Where are you located? What is your um, time zone, Kay? And are you new to watching me live or have you watched me live before? So don't forget about the new kits. And of course, the January kits are super cute too. We have the Panda Friends and the Rock Legends. All right, that's it for the announcements. Let's get started making this adorable card. I'm going to show it to you. Again, I'm going to reiterate page 51 of the January to April mini catalog is this stamp set called Bright Skies. And I'm using the bundle, which includes the um, dies as well. It is the cutest set, and I've been having so much fun using it. And because it's still celebration, I have been pairing it 
with the adorable paper. Not all the projects this week are gonna have this paper, but this paper is super cute and you can get it free if you purchase the bundle. So if you purchase the bundle, you can get this pack of DSP for free. Who doesn't love free stuff? I know I do. All right. That's fantastic, Kay. Welcome. Everybody sell. Oh, look, you guys are already doing it. Everybody's already telling her welcome. Welcome, Kay. Hey, Eileen. Thanks for joining. Is mom watching? Oh, thank you so much, Sherry. You're my little ambassador. <laughs> Yes, everybody is so nice in this group. And so I hope that you will come back and um, and catch me live. So Okay, well, tell her to feel better if she's not feeling good. Oh, thank you so much, Kay. I greatly appreciate it. All right, guys, let's move this um, stamp set and dies out of the way and let me show you today's project. So today we're making this cute card and it's a pop-up card. I know that Clem will like it because Clem likes um, fun folds. And so it has a pop-up on the front. So this little um, row of flowers is popped off popped up off of the back. So if I hold it like this, you can see there's a ledge here. And I put a lot of the different DSPs together in addition to the fun texture on this big cloud stamp. See how cute this cloud stamp is? And this one also has texture. So you can stamp them and have different texture. Super adorable. Um, this DSP here and this DSP on this side here was used um, from the mini, I mean, from the celebration brochure that is free. Thank you. Thank you guys so much. I'm so happy that you love it. Thanks for the hearts. Hey, Rita. Thanks for joining us. I'm sorry I miss seeing you in the chat. I'm like scattered sometimes. Everybody is so awesome. I love everybody who watches. They're pretty awesome. So anyway, so I'm going to teach you how to make it. Even though the flower um, section pops up. Hey, Milani. Yay. So even though the flower section pops up, it folds flat to go into your card. So there it is folded flat. And you can just stick it right into your envelope. Hey guys, Milani showed up. Everybody say hi. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and um, show you how to make this cool pop-up card. Okay. So let me grab. Oh, it also opens and I put a little bit of the DSP on the inside and one of the cute little clouds from the dies. I used this one right here, this solid colored one. Um, it's a standalone cloud die. It doesn't cut out anything that's in the stamp set. But it is so cute, and I wanted to add it right on the inside. Okay, so our core of our card is basic white thick. And we have basic white in thick and regular. So you're going to use basic white thick for... Um, when it's the base of your card. Okay, if you're using it like to cut this cloud out, you don't need to use the thick. Just use the regular um, basic white. So I, it's four and a quarter by 11 inches and I scored it at the five and a half inch mark. You can kind of see that mark. I'm sure it's not super easy to see because white doesn't show good on camera. But there's a score line there and I'm gonna go ahead and match my two corners, that side and that side, and hold on to them. And then I'm going to use my bone folder, and I'm going to press like that. Okay? So now we are going to um, attach a couple pieces. All right? So I have a piece of four and a quarter by... four 
I think, yeah. I, let me measure it because I don't know if that's right. I'm second guessing myself and I don't want to be wrong for you guys. So let's look. Yes, four and a quarter by four of this rainbow paper. The other side has those flowers that we're using for this piece right here, okay? And then you're gonna cut a piece of three inches by four and a quarter of the same piece and you're just gonna flip it over and you're gonna use it for the front here. So you're gonna need two pieces. Now for this front piece for our pop-up, I went ahead and die cut the little greenery top section here where the flowers are and I'm going to show you the die set comes with two little pieces here and let me see which one I used I think it's this bigger one let me see nope this one this one here that has more little bubbly pieces the wider one I didn't use that one so there's one that has more humps that's the one that I used to die cut it. So I took a three inch by four and a quarter. I laid my die on top. Let me put it on here so you guys can see. All right, and then I die cut, like the paper was sticking out here at the top, right? And I ran it through my die cut machine. And then I got this cute little scallopy edge from the die that comes with this really awesome bundle. I love this bundle so much. I'm, I've been having fun with it this week. All right. So this one with the rainbows, we're going to attach that right here at the top of our basic white thick cardstock. So let me grab my silicone mat and anyone here can tell you why we're grabbing that if I can find it because now it's not in my drawer. I was just creating and I probably like moved it out of the way or it's right in front of me and I just can't see it. <laughs> Which is possible. I don't know what I did with it. I have another one. So I'm just, oh, here it is. I found it. So I'm going to use my silicone mat. I'm going to put adhesive on the dark, darker side here. And we're going to attach that on the top section of the basic white. So we'll flip this over and we'll put it right here at the top. And I always tend to cut my DSP a little tiny bit wider than the measurement because sometimes when we're trimming our base, we may end up like cutting it a little shorter or a little wider, right? And you always wanna be able to have enough coverage. This is my little roller. Um, I, ha I got this on Amazon and I absolutely love it to spread out the glue behind my designer series paper or my cardstock when I am gluing pieces together. Since I use the um, multi-purpose glue, I love that. So we're gonna set this to the side for right now. We've done the top section. We're gonna work on the smaller section for the bottom, which is our pop-up, okay? So our pop-up is a piece of Parakeet Party. And this piece is four and a quarter by five, okay? And we're gonna score down the five inch length. So you want the five inch piece to be across the top of your scoreboard. <laughs> John doesn't have any tips because I haven't shown him Sherry, so you guys can't bribe him today. I know, I'm a spoiler. No fun. I'm no fun. <laughs> okay, so across the five inch top section here, we're going to score at three quarters of an inch, at one and three quarters of an inch, at three and one quarters of an inch, and four and one quarter. I'm going to repeat that again for you, okay? Three quarters, one and three quarters, 
three and a quarter and four and a quarter. Yes, I love that silicone mat. It is washable. It's fantastic. I use it so much. And I actually like to stamp my photopolymer on it. I feel like I get a better pressure when I have my paper on here and I press my photopolymer down. I'm um, my photopolymer stamps and they're on and then my my cardstock is on this mat. <laughs> John you don't know this week, so you can't be telling. No candy for you. All right, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to burnish on the score lines that we just made. All right. All right, so this is what you have. I know this is a bright color. So what we're going to do is we're going to form a little box. See? And the top has two pieces and the bottom is solid and the sides are solid, okay? So basically, that's what we have right here, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I am gonna bring this back in and I'm gonna put my wet adhesive on this flap, the, this one on the top here, and then I'm gonna flip it over onto this bottom piece right here, okay? So let's grab our multi-purpose. And you guys know I use a lot of glue, so you shouldn't be surprised. Okay, so remember, this is how we're held with the two open pieces. The one on the top gets the adhesive. Now we're gonna open that. We're gonna kind of push this down and we're gonna line that piece up with the bottom of our card base, okay? Just like that, we're gonna open it and make sure that it doesn't overhang. And if it does, we can slide it up. We still have time, thank God for the, um, for the wiggle room that our wet glue gives us. Okay, so now we're gonna put glue on this other piece and we're gonna bring it around. And I'm gonna try and show you, but what we want it to do, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna try and show you without glue because it'll be easier. So we're gonna put glue on that ledge and we're gonna roll it around and see that white space right there? We're going to basically butt those two edges together and bring that piece in. And so there'll be a seam inside That's awesome, Kimberly. So we're gonna bring that inside like that and that's how we're gonna glue it. Does everybody understand before I glue it? I'm gonna give you guys a second because I know sometimes YouTube just like plays ads without any warning. And so you guys might be watching an ad and I wanna make sure that you understand. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and put adhesive on the other ledge. All right, and we're gonna wrap it around and we're going to adhere that piece where it butts up against the other one. And we're gonna just find its spot and once it's attached, you can put your fingers inside, you can press this piece down and give it a push, okay? Then I'm gonna bring it back this way and I'm gonna give it a roll with my roller. So now we have a little box sitting on the bottom of our card. Pretty awesome. I knew you would love this, Clem. <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna erase the glue that I may have had on my fingers and I like to use my glue, my glue eraser. I use it all day long. Okay, so now we can attach our piece of grass right on the bottom here. So all I'm gonna do is put adhesive on this large panel. Thank you. 
And it's what helps us form our little garden that we have going on here, right? So we're gonna go ahead and attach that piece to our ledge. And then I'm gonna lay it flat and I'm gonna use my roller again and get that to really grab to my cardstock. So this is what it'll look like when you send it in the mail. It'll be even with the bottom and it fits into your card and then when they get it, it will pop up. Okay, what should we do next? Ah! I'm gonna stamp, let's stamp. So I have this nested essentials dies, which you guys know, if you follow me at all, you want this die, okay? It's fantastic. I use lots of shapes dies, so just start buying them, and trust me, I probably own them already. <laughs> it's the first thing I buy out of the catalog. When the catalog is new, I look through and I'm like, okay, what standalone die sets do I want? Because I always have stamp sets, but I think die sets take your stamping to the next level. So I love dies, and so especially shape dies. So this is the second one in, not the smallest, but the next one up from this piece, and it's just a piece of basic white, not the thick, okay? And we are gonna use Berry Burst ink, and we are going to stamp the sentiment that says, you brighten my cloudy days with Berry Burst. Okay, I'm gonna bring this down, and hopefully, I'm not out of camera, I can't tell. I'm not, right? I'm not out of camera, guys. Yell at me if I'm out of camera, but I don't think I am. So I'm gonna ink that back up because I took too long. And then we're gonna go ahead and stamp this right here in the middle of There we go. And it will lighten as it dries. Thank you, Sherry. All right, so Always clean your stamps right away. That's just what I do, okay? So then I took some scraps of basic white cardstock, okay? And here's my little baggie. I gotta open it if I can get it open. Lord, that was full, okay. So let's talk. So then I took basic white cardstock. Let me bring my stamp set back in so you guys can see what's going on, okay? There's this little tulip flower and this little daisy flower, okay? And so I stamped two of the little daisy flower and two of the little tulips. The tulips were stamped in Orchid Oasis. These, this is my color palette. So the, these um, tulips were stamped in this color here, Orchid Oasis. Berry Burst is the daisies. And then the, um, the leaves and stem were in Parakeet Party, okay? So I needed four of those Parakeet Party ones because I did two of each flower. And then the die set has the dies to cut out the daisy and the tulip and the stem and leaves, but it also has a standalone leaf and flower. So with the standalone leaf and flower, I did two of the flowers and two of the stem and leaf, okay? Then there's a sun and I stamped, I didn't stamp, I die cut the sun and the center of the sun out of Daffodil Delight. Look how cute that is. I love that stitching. And then this little standalone cloud right here, I did that out of Tahitian Tide. So those are our colors. Aren't they cute? I love bright colors. And then I also die cut for the front of our card. We have the sun but I also die cut two of the second largest, this is the big one, but second largest 
um, clouds. See right there? I did one in Tahitian Tide, and then I stamped one in this um, pattern. Isn't it so cute? Right there. So that's all the pieces. Now I have a piece of um, Lost Lagoon, and this is a piece of half inch by four and a quarter, and I wanted you, when you looked down through the flowers, to not have all of that craziness happening. I wanted you to see that solid so that the flowers would pop. So I added a piece of Lost Lagoon, which is really a scrap that I have from cutting card bases. So it's half an inch by four and a quarter. And we're going to glue that at the base of where that pop-up piece is. So I'm going to flatten this down, and I'm going to put that right up against that DSP and right there. And it's a little long, so I need to trim the end. I overhung it slightly, which is what I mean by sometimes I trim, I cut a little longer or a little shorter. So see that piece, that way when you have your flowers, your line of vision will catch that and you'll be able to see all the flowers, okay? All right. The other thing that I cut was a piece that's five and a half inches by half of an inch of the same paper, and I wanted to put that on the inside. So I'm gonna glue that first, and then we'll finish assembling the outside of our card. So it's gonna overhang because when you score your card, usually the score line takes up some room, so there's gonna be overhang, and I'm gonna have to trim the end, so I'm not gonna put my glue all the way to the bottom. I'll show you what I mean when I open the card. So see how thick the score line is that takes up some millimeters or centimeters or whatever you want to call it so this is going to go up to that score line and i want to leave a little room on the outer edge and so that means that i have a tiny hair of basically the score line worth sticking out from the bottom that i need to trim away okay and that's gonna go on the inside. And then this cute little cloud will also go there. So we're gonna go ahead and put that inside. And whoops, and the inside of our card. Of course, I'm gonna roll this, right? Will also be done. Okay, so let's decorate the outside. So let's do the clouds in the background first. So we're going to use this cloud here and then this one in front of it, like so. This one's gonna be glued flat onto my piece. So of course, here comes the silicone mat again because you guys know I'm super messy. Which was the great idea, Rita? I missed it when you typed it. I must have been looking at my project. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and put that cloud right there. And again, I love to bond my paper with my little roller. I might as well just leave it out here. Okay, so the sun is going to be next. So we're gonna put some glue on the center of the sun. And I'm going to attach that into the center of the little. And you could also make the sun into a flower because it looks like a sunflower, doesn't it? Oh, yes, the Lost Lagoon strip. Yeah, because you really want to be able to see really well when you're looking straight down. And so you definitely need something for your eye there. All right, so now we've attached that. And I'm just, I have, I'm not going to glue it yet because I have to figure out where I'm gonna put my sun, where it's gonna where it's gonna live, based on where this one's gonna go. So let's grab our Stampin' Dimensionals, and of course I'm gonna use way more than you guys probably think I should, except for Sherry, because she uses a ton like me. 
She's my partner in stamp and dimensional crime. Glue crime, really. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go ahead and pull the backs off. And then I'm going to hover my cloud and put my glue on the back. I'm going to hold, well, actually, let's just put that there temporarily because it won't stick because it's silicone. So we're gonna go ahead and put some glue on our little on our little sun. Thanks for the hearts, guys. Okay, so we're gonna position this without gluing it down where we want it. And then we grab my tweezer and pick up my sun. And then we're gonna put that there. That looks pretty awesome to me. What do you guys think? You like that? I think it's good. So let's go ahead and put the sun. Let's roll it to get it to grab. And then we're going to go ahead and position our cloud this way and over to the side. So the sun's peeking out, right? Love it. So cute. And we're going to add You Brighten My Cloudy Days right here. And so as you can see, there's just a tiny little piece of the DSP showing underneath here. So what you want to do is, well, first you want to grab your dimensionals. And I want to make sure that I'm putting it at the bottom. So I'm going to put three of these little dimensionals at the bottom. The top is going to get wet adhesive because it's going to be attached to the cloud. And the cloud is already lifted up. So I just need dimensionals here for the bottom for it not to be wonky. Okay. So I put my wet adhesive. I'm going to pull the backs off of my dimensionals. <laughs> John, act like he don't know what's going on. Oh, my. Like he's sensitive. Okay. So we're going to go ahead. <laughs> And we're going to place this piece here. I want to leave just a smidge of the um, rainbows showing there. And I want to center that across my piece. So the wet adhesive is going to adhere to my cloud. And the dimensionals are going to hold up the bottom. Okay. Now comes time for our flowers. I'm going to put this off to the side. And we're going to go ahead and attach all of them. So I'm going to bring all these little stems and leaves up onto my silicone mat. And I'm going to separate my flowers so I can grab them. All right. So we're going to put adhesive on on the tips here of the stem. And yes, this glue is strong enough to adhere these little flowers without them falling off of there, okay? So the ones that are the die cuts are going to get the, um, the Highland Heather die cut flower, okay? So I'm putting those first. And then where this gap is on the daisy, I just wanted to put it on top of my stem because I just felt like that gap needed something to hold it, right? Let's put this one here. I kind of was off with that die cutting a little bit, but that's okay. It's handmade, and if they don't like it, I won't send them another card. <laughs> I don't think anybody will complain. I think we're our own worst critics. I don't think other people think what we think. Like, oh, I wish that, that was straighter. Like, nobody says that. All right, so we're going to go ahead and let those kind of set for a second. And so did you guys see my project um, on Monday? The one with the umbrellas. If you haven't seen it, um, I will probably link it once this video goes... Um, once it rolls out into HD, because YouTube takes it for a while and it processes it, it double checks that no kind of anything bad is on the video. 
it's a little bit time consuming. So it'll be at some point in the morning tomorrow that it'll have that when I wake up, I will um, put the video at the end for you to grab it. But um, yesterday's project was this little card right here. And I used the raindrops embossing folder, which was really fun. Um, and I used the same designer series paper pack, that's the free pack, to, to make four umbrellas. Oh, thank you, Lee. Thank you, Roxanne. Um, and I had so much fun making this cute card. So you have a strawberry umbrella and a butterfly umbrella and a floral and one with some cherries. And I just think they turned out so cute. How cute is this project? So if you haven't checked this out, if you go to YouTube and in the search bar, you type Inky Hands Warm Hearts, my channel will come up. And when you see my photo, there'll be the words right next to it, Inky Hands Warm Hearts. If you click on the words Inky Hands Warm Hearts, it'll take you to my main channel page. On that main channel page, there'll be some menu. There'll be playlists and videos and lives. And it always shows you like the most popular videos, sometimes the latest videos, ones that are recommended for you that you may not have seen. And you can choose this video and then you can watch it. Or you can just wait till sometime tomorrow and catch this one again and, and hit at the end of this video, it'll show the, um, the link for you guys to grab this one. Okay, so we're going to add, as you can see, I put a daisy and a tulip down on this main portion. So let's go ahead and do that again. I'm going to add glue to the backs of both of those. And the rest of them are just going to get glue on the bottom of the stem because they're going to attach onto those little scalloped pieces. So I'm going to move this over and I'm going to grab my tweezers and I'm going to add my tulip down here. So cute. And my daisy up here. Maybe a little bit over. Yeah. They're so precious. These look how cute that is. Oh, I love it. Okay. So now we're going to put adhesive on the tips of the bottom section. And yes, this adhesive is strong enough. I'm telling you, it's awesome. Awesome glue. And even if you bump the flowers, um, it, they will stay attached. Because trust me, when I took a picture of this, I didn't realize that I had wonked one of the flowers. And it was like completely bent forward like that. It was like not even. <laughs> and I was like, I didn't notice it till after I was editing the pictures. And I was like, at this point, it was dark. I couldn't do anything about it. So it is what it is. I'm not worried. <laughs> it's still a cute card, even if the picture isn't perfect. Okay, so we're going to attach behind one of these little scallop pieces. We're going to attach this flower and I'm going to hold it for a second just to get the glue to bond. And that's the key with this glue because it's wet. Oh, thank you so much, Lou. Um, the key with this card is because the um, this is a wet glue that we're using, you just wanna hold it in place for a minute and let it really bond with um, the paper. And once it bonds, I mean, it is on there for life. I mean, this is super strong. And so even though I've already put the glue on the ends, we can still go through here. I'm going to hold on to that one with this side, and then I'm going to put this one over here, and I'm going to hold on to it with my right hand. And then you'll have to talk to me because I'll be sitting here not being able to do anything except run my mouth. <laughs> but this is the final step, so we're almost there. And I actually didn't even put any embellishments on this card because... You know, sometimes you think, okay, it needs a little bling, it needs a little something, but sometimes the card is just enough. And I don't think we need to put embellishments on every card. And I mean, I am a bling girl. I love the bling, but I don't think every card necessarily needs it. All right, so there's that one. I unstuck my finger from the back. All right, so let me open our card. 
and put my little flowers out and that's what it would look like for you guys. What do you guys think? So cute this card is. I love it. Thank you so much. Thank you, Eileen. You guys, this is like my joy to make projects for you and to get to live out doing something that I absolutely love. Um, I appreciate your support so much. Thank you, Joyce. Um, if you wouldn't mind sharing the video, giving me a thumbs up. Um, also, if you wouldn't mind... Um, sharing my channel with your friends that you think would enjoy the content i would be forever grateful um it's hard in today with so many youtubers to make headway and i would appreciate so much if you guys um would share my stuff with people you think might like it i hope that you guys enjoyed this project and tomorrow will be sneak peeks of the Inky Hands Crew projects. On Thursday, I will be live at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And Kay, if you're still here, send me an email if you want that last um, Stamp Camp project make and takes. You get 13 make and takes. And then in the Stamp Camp, you'll get 13 alternates. So it's a pretty awesome um, deal for stamp camp. I hope that you'll decide to join us and we can get you in the group by um, Friday evening at 6 p.m. Eastern. And like I said, you don't have to watch it live. All the replays will be there. And I actually have a class on Saturday, a local class that I'm gonna be at. And so I won't be there to watch it live either except for the um, Welcome the Crafternoon Tea, which is at, I think, 10 o'clock in the morning on Saturday. And then, of course, the wrap-up is 8 p.m. on Saturday night. Okay, sis, see you later. Thanks, Debbie. All right, guys, does anybody have any questions? If not, I'm going to let you go six minutes early. Look at me. I feel like a champion. <laughs> I always have so much fun with you guys, and I love the um, engagement and, the, and just the fact that everybody is so friendly. Yay! Okay, Lou, I'll see you. I don't know if Milani is coming. Everybody wish Milani a um, happy birthday because her birthday is coming up. And so I know that for sure. So she, her birthday will happen before the next time that we're together on Tuesday night. So everybody let her know that happy birthday. Good night. Yeah, I'll see you on Friday, Lou. And Lee will be there. Yay! So it'll be fun. I'm excited. <laughs> You're so funny, Debs. <laughs> Thanks, Rita, for wishing her. I don't know. She may have um, dipped out already. Um, her husband. Oh, there she is. Happy birthday, girl. If I could, like, put a little birthday cake on top of, let me see if I can find one. I'm going to try and find one. If I could put a little birthday cake on top of your little head, I would. Let me see if I can do it. I got to find it. Is there even a birthday cake? I'm sure there is. Oh, here it is. I found it. There it is. Happy birthday. Thank you, John. Kay, do you have a Facebook account? Are you on Facebook also? Some people are just on YouTube, so I'm not sure, but just curious. Woohoo, John, 
someone gave her some confetti and a cake. <laughs> well, I'm so excited it's your birthday. Oh, okay. All right, guys, I guess nobody has any questions, so I'm going to let you go early. Um, at 9 o'clock p.m., this card will be on my website, which is inkyhandswarmhearts.com. So you can go over there, and the replay for the video will be embedded into the um, post that shows the card. Um, and I hope that you guys enjoyed tonight. I certainly enjoyed having you guys with me, and I appreciate you so much. Thanks for being part of my channel and supporting me by clicking the thumbs up and giving me likes and sharing my videos. I appreciate you so much. You guys have a fantastic day, or rest of your night, I mean. <laughs> it's only daytime in Australia. Where am I? I like must be in another world. Yay, Debs! I'm so proud of you. That's fantastic. What have you been making? Lots of projects that I have been providing or things you've just found on your own. I'm so excited that you've been crafting. That's awesome. That's the best part of stamping, right? Just the joy of making something. It's fantastic. Oh, thanks, Debs. I'm so happy. Oh, you're the sweetest. Woohoo! I'm glad that you've been making stuff. That's exciting. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me. I'll let you go. Ooh, the nuggets. Woohoo! Yeah, those are so cute. Oh, you're doing all the Valentine stuff. Yay! They're going to love it when they get it. Yeah, try it. This is a fun card. All right, guys, this is Kelly with Inky Hands Warm Hearts. Happy stamping. Thank you, Cheryl.